Namaste Divine Beings, I am Nandiji. This video is for the U Wealth Revolution Summit and these are questions I'd like to answer. The first question is, what is the fundamental cause of poverty, of lack, of lack in money? When we are stuck in our circumstances, our body and mind, we are playing out the karmic imprints of limitations. The moment we have started expanding our consciousness, stepping out of the mind, we are in the spirit having the human experience beginning to see the greater, bigger picture. We are transforming our vibratory field to that of a higher self that allows ease in manifestation. So, the first step would be start our inner journey to break free from the limits, to break free from the lack. The next question, so what determines the level of consciousness? To meditate and to go into a space of expanding consciousness means walking, running, dancing, doing yoga, all these are tools to expand consciousness. When we meet a master who's enlightened, the only thing worth asking the master for is a part of their enlightenment, a part of their consciousness. And this part of consciousness, this consciousness is like an embryo handed over by way of mantras, by way of grace, with the grace of the inner journeys, where our consciousness can multiply itself exponentially. And the level at which our consciousness is holds the grace that enables us to attain more of grace. In other words, when we have woken up, a journey has just begun. We are now on the journey through light to attain more light. And with this is where light is, abundance in all its forms is. The next question. So what is this inner journey? The inner journey is the fire that's lit within each Mother Kundalini. The moment we have lit the fire within, it is the blossoming of all the chakras. Each chakra holds realities. And as we journey within in ascendance, our realities blossom. And this inner fire is pure grace of happiness, joy, its core harmony. So we set discipline to have more of this core harmony, more of this joy. And this enables us to be in the field of higher consciousness, the field of higher vibrations. The next question. So, is the Siddha path compatible in human realities? So, when our consciousness has expanded itself, we are able to see the big picture. When we see the big picture, and when we are guided by light, when we are guided by our higher wisdom, we make apt decisions. When we make apt decisions, and do from our heart, we become natural leaders. So, to be on the path of the Siddha is to be a leader, is to be the doer, is to be the one who has accomplished and is accomplishing the higher ideals of the greater self, the greater potential within 
I am honored and happy to be sharing Asuddha wisdom here on You Wealth Revolution as in the form of three packages. Package A has the book Mastery of Consciousness. The first part of the book is my autobiography. The next is the 108 Consciousness Sutras, which is a formula to transform our human realities to align our greater self in our doings. The third is article of Siddha wisdom and the fourth an interview. The quality of question determines the grandness of the answers. This is with the deeper insights into questions to be answered. In package A is also a yoga, Kalangi Kundalini Yoga, where with sun salutation, we are able to climb up layers of consciousness. And when we do a yoga on a daily basis, we create enriching experience that gives us all its abundance. This is Kalangi Kundani Yoga. And then is Arakara, a music. Within the Siddha Mantra is the dance. It's like a nursery rhyme that goes on. And within this is the pure grace of stillness. In other words, we tap into the perpetuality of a meditative mind. A mind that is in states of bliss and joy. This is a Siddha Mantra. And MP3s to take a journey even further. Package B is my personal favorite as it holds the Siva Siva Siddha Chakra Meditation where you will receive the mantras to light the inner fire, Mother Kundalini, and climb up chakra by chakra, blossoming each chakra. And as we climb up, we are addressing all the challenges through the inner journeys. And as we climb up, we are coming to becoming the whole vast self that we are. And with the journey awake, it is the petals of a crown being awake. From here, grace grows grace, light grows light. This is the Sivasava journey. Also is the blessed 108 Rudraksha Mala that is used for the inner journey. This is the Japa, the Tapas. Tapas is having that perpetual fire growing within us Every breath, we are transforming thought to wisdom. Every moment, we are transforming it into the now. And the human, we are transforming it into the angelic. So in this journey of teachings of the, of the mala is on how to transform the outer reality from within. On how we can be generating the higher vibrational energies that will shine and glide through our human experiences. And of course, there are the MP3s to take a journey even further to the layers where we are able to tap into not only the higher potential, but how to utilize that higher conscious mind and the lavaster self into, in the reality fields. And the third package, which is limited by number, is holds the one-on-one -on -one soul blessing readings. The soul blessing reading is about each of us having a life where we are the seeker, we are the Siddhartha, and there is the struggle, and yet there is the Buddha accomplished, having done, attained, who has attained the whole, who is the son. So if we receive that blessing, it enables us to understand 
all of our past, a unique past, what is the miracle it was, and the, the present and the future as the ultimate blessings that we could receive to be the sun, to simply shine. So this is the three, these are the three packages. Enjoy the inner journeys with grace, with light, with all the abundance, and most important, to uplift ourselves and all of humanity. Gratitude. Namaste.